Hi, welcome on uh, your PDA education and I'm going to discuss with you the query or question which majority of students are asking nowadays and that is whether they should uh, go for PhD directly after BTEC or uh, because it is a long uh, duration course minimum five hours five years and uh, there is a reason students are little apprehensive that uh, 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 will it be right decision to go for PhD so there are two concern in the mind of student number one uh, five long years will it be possible for them to sustain they have not any exposure of research so far research uh, or research we don't know and uh, professors ki expectations kya hai aur maine sun rakha hai ki phd bahut mushkil hota hai iit iske andar aur bhi mushkil hota hai aur uh, mere se ho payega ki nahi ho payega that is one query second is ke phd ke baad kya hoga matlab phd mein kar to lu btech ke baad directly phd lekin uske baad kya hoga job kahan lagega placement hota hai ki nahi hota hai that query is there in the minds of students let me tell you uh, since i have uh, gone through this entire process of uh, PhD and all from IIT system and I've observed IIT system from very close. Mera ye manna hai ki BTEC wad PhD is a great option. Uh, for those jin ko thoda sa bhi research ya academics mein interest hai. It can be great opportunity. I mean uh, kya kya options hain PhD ke baad that I will just discuss briefly. Lekin it is a good decision. But for those who are ready to put effort. Jo effort karne ko tiyar hain. Aur jin ko padne se study karne se trouble nahi aata hai. and yes you are to lead uh, next couple of years the life as a student only because uh, lab mein jana hai aapko professor ke under kaam karna hai so you will be like a student only but yes with the flexibility and independence also because you are handling some lab you will be given uh, some kind of charge uh, of particular lab professor will tell you to sit in that lab and uh, take care of that lab and guide students of btech mtech or something like that so you will be doing doing those activities also so if you are serious candidate and if you are ready to uh, put effort in that direction then you have nothing to worry trouble kab aata hai when you do not do phd seriously and you are trying to do something uh, along with PhD, let's say, अगर आप कोई competitive exam की तैयारी कर रहे हैं, वो आपका interest है, then obviously you are compromising the effort of PhD. And after that, obviously you cannot expect that professor will be very heavy, uh, uh, very happy with you, and uh, he will cooperate. तो वो भी नहीं होता. इसलिए if you want to get a very good career after PhD, then you have to do it seriously. And uh, five years is, uh, if you see five years a long period, that is one way to see. Another way to see is five years I'm going to get in IIT kind of environment where I can learn so many things. I mean, uh, uh, I can learn so many softwares. I, I'll be interacting with so many students. I'll be interact learning from so many professors. I can take so many courses. So five years may I can really enhance my skills and I can become very good in my domain of research. But very less student go with that attitude. And if you go with that attitude, nothing like that. See, now what are the options after PhD? So I have answered your question. PhD after BTEC is good. Answer is very good. And I tell you one more statistics. You know, you are going to get scholarship somewhere of 30,000 rupees. And there will not be much expenditure in hostel and fees because that will be maximum 5,000 rupees per month. That means student, a student in PhD can save 20,000 rupees per month also. You can save that. And if you want to save 20,000 rupees per month outside in a job, you should have minimum 45,000 in your hand because you have to pay rent, you have to have food and you have to pay other expenditures. So I believe uh, this money wise also, it is not a bad option. I mean, uh, obviously you cannot expect a very high salary also, but yes, for your survival, it is good and you can save also. Those of you who ask, hey, sir, my family is dependent upon me. I need to give home 15,000, 20,000 per month. You can do also. There are many students who are very from very poor background and they cannot sustain. So let me tell them that they can give 15, 20,000 home also. That is also possible. Now, what are the options after PhD? First and foremost option, which is a natural choice is academics, teaching, teaching in IIT, teaching in NIT, teaching in central universities, teaching in state government colleges, teaching in private, good private colleges, where you start getting very good salary also. So if you have published papers, if you have really good knowledge of your domain, then even private universities are paying you very high, like uh, Bits Pilani, uh, you see Velour Institute of Technology, PSG Coimbatore, Thapar Institute in Punjab. So there are so many universities, private sector universities, which are ready to poach you if you do really good work. 
so that is number one that is the easiest thing you can get and if you are done really good phd work and some post doctorate fellowship experience you can get into iits also so suppose you have done phd from iit bombay you can become faculty in iit kanpur and majority of uh, faculty in nit system are from iit i mean you have done iit kanpur se phd you can become professor in nit and this is a very good uh, basically line uh, 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 career back career option for girl candidates so very good and you know uh, professor in iits i don't think they are only teachers they are teacher plus researcher i know my own professors also who have taught me they used to handle a lot of good projects of industries of government department of science and technology they used to handle a lot of many projects drdo isro so when you do that you feel like okay you are into real thing you know that is something like that and if you are professor of iit nit you go abroad for presenting your papers conferences and also it's a good lifestyle it's a good uh, background if you want to get into private sector like general electrical kind of companies and all if you are good in your domain if you are good in your field you have done software skills you have if you have and hard skills also if you have your knowledge of your field you can become join the r and d wing of private sector companies as i gave you one example of uh, general electrical company which hires Uh, technocrats who are very good in some kind of domain like if you are very good in cfd machine learning artificial intelligence aapne phd kar liya us field mein to yaar kyun nahi kar sakte you can be very good in that third option is post doctorate fellowship you can always go foreign in any of the university world phd is a degree which will increase your flexibility to go to any country and pursue post doctorate fellowship which is just like doing job in university only as a professor so it is like that you can go to any university of the world so what is a crux sir crux is phd is a very big degree you know it is a very safe option once you have phd in your pocket you will get some job here or there you will positively get a job uh, but it is you know for couple of years you have to study you have done btech now you have uh, entered into phd so after btech you are studying also four five years so our society thinks that you are continuously studying that is a mental barrier nothing else but if you are doing job also i tell you honestly from my experience doing phd is far easier than getting into job and fulfilling the requirements of your employer and here you are getting basically a degree also so that is a good option but only for those students who are going there to do phd those who are going there to do competitive exam preparation ias preparation engineering services preparation for them obviously this is a not a good option it is going to create trouble for you your relation with your professor will not be good and all yes when you join phd certain things you have to consider the professor under whom you do phd you, he should be a very good person i mean your uh, rapport should be very good with him and you, your field of research should be the field of your interest that also should be there if you consider these couple of options then yes phd is a great option you can pursue forward then many students say ke sir direct phd means uh, i have not done mtech so i'll be eligible for all the jobs where mtech is required answer is yes since degree is phd is required for becoming teacher or something or anywhere they will they will consider the higher degree so if you have mtech they will not ask your btech they will ask your mtech if you are phd they will ask your phd so that is how it is going to be accepted baki anything else if you have any doubt if you have you can shoot your query on the number which is shown here you can ask me and we can discuss it further but it's a great option go ahead and if you have option for this it is very good and last thing i want to tell you is that those students whose gate score is not very good but btech cgp is good they certainly get calls for phd let's say if your gate score is more than 8.5 and your uh, sorry cgp is 8.5 uh, general category i'm talking and uh, gate is not very good 300 400 500 so gate qualify should be there only qualify but btech cgp should be good plus good research proposal then you can get into phd inductment is done twice in a year winter admission summer admission and through gate you get into iits also and iims also this is something which you should know you should keep in mind i hope i have made some sense and some uh, concepts clear for you and if you have any doubt you can discuss with me thank you